Ah, oh, well, the tip became uh, quite thicker. <laughs> so I'm gonna do here another one. Now, uh, a good one, I hope. looks more like the other one. I'll uh, stop the recording until it's, fin it's finished. I made two of two prints and I'm gonna cut them to length because it's not gonna fit in the container the, the thing I made just on the last uh, image you've seen. This is scissor for only fabric, cannot use it. So I'll just cut something off. I got two versions I'm gonna try. One that has really small spacing and one that has the, I think the desired spacing. Maybe even also a bit too on the small side. So biggest problem right now seems like it's hard to, to, to guesstimate the, the tip, the size of the tip. The guy at the store, I asked if there was a bigger tip and he said no, but uh, I've got one of these pens here and uh, we drew a little bit on a piece of paper and he said, it's much wider than the tip when it's new and it becomes like this wide tip quite fast. Uh, but the thing is, that's okay with me, but I hope it will stay sort of at a certain width. So, because otherwise uh, everything you do will be different every time. So, but it could be that uh, because the tip, if it's really sharp, it's uh, easier to um, you know, all the force, all the weight of this pen holder and such is on the small tip so it becomes wider and wider and there might be a place where it balances out. And as well I might check if I can make this slider a little bit uh, less heavy. So it balances out a little bit earlier before it becomes too too wide. I don't know, it's just some uh, theory uh, I came up with. That's <laughs> I mean, I think it, 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 because I used it on a scuffed aluminum foil, which is more abrasive, I think, than this uh, very smooth aluminum foil. It might make a difference, who knows. So, put the gloves on. I think a bit more aggressive etching is nicer than this, this very slow crit. There's a fine line between those two. A bit of oxygen uh, bubbles and such would help a lot. But don't have an aquarium pump or something. By doing this I could also ruin the edge resist. So might not be the best idea. So what do we have? This one is the with the way too small spacing that I did not intend it. 
you can see I think it might be a little bit too small for spacing. We can measure that, of course. Also, here there is uh, here some edges was removed. You see, like a scar. But now this was the first try with a sharpie. Not bad, not bad at all. But a few holes and such. And now this is the one with um, the oil pen. which has a smaller spacing but also some some scars you see some holes, some pinholes more pinholes so I'm not sure actually this one has less pinholes Okay. And it's even a smaller with um, trace. I think the Sharpie wins actually, which is kind of uh, weird. This is acceptable with almost no pinholes, just one or two over a length of. Uh, Oh, there's one. A pretty big length. So okay. Back to the Sharpie, I guess. But this method, uh, well, can work, that's for sure. All kinds of stuff we made. Also, this was made with a Sharpie, which is really uh, quite, quite nice. I mean, no, no faults anywhere, so... Might buy an extra Sharpie. It's always going in an angle, which is not what I want. You want a massive ribbon? Well, <laughs> there you go. Twist's nice if you lose tension, you have some tension on it. Still too heavy for a normal ribbon I think, but who knows what you can do with this. At least it looks really nice. <laughs> That's one thing. This will be a ribbon with uh, two, four, six, eight tracks. What you do is uh, you use some normal uh, good conductive wire to route it back to the beginning and feed again into the ribbon. So you could create, for instance, with this ribbon should be able to get a decent uh, impedance while still using a quite not too long ribbon. It is still uh, big but not insanely big. Of course it's way too wide but uh, Just like the, the, the ribbon thing. I don't own magnets to do something useful with that. So I think I measured it once and it it didn't didn't extend too far, I think. Mainly the I think it did the same course kind of as the the planars I made. And the foil weight is kind of an issue. So you might want to rub off all this uh, blue glue before you 
corrugate this. You can remove like 3 micron of glue. It's uh, some way. It uh, dissolves in the uh, Mac, the one in the corner here. <laughs> so I will try that once and see what the weight difference is. If I'm even able to measure this, because let's see what this measures in terms of weight. Okay, so 0 0.42. So I wonder if, I, if you could skim off some of the weight, that would be awesome. The most weight is of course the aluminum and the mylar. You could trim down some uh, mylar, you could lose some weight. Then uh, remove the glue, lose some weight. Now it says 0 0.4, so it's not that accurate. It's somewhere in this region. Wish I had some acetone, then I could check this, but that will be next time when the stores are open because tomorrow they are closed. So I did another one with a Sharpie since by the looks of it, it was best. And this one is quite good. Is this dirt or is this etched? Oh. So this is quite nice. One thing here, I wonder. There. It's there as well. It's here as well. Is it still some markings of the Sharpie? Oh, yes. It actually is. So it's even better. So there are these lines where I thought it was etched maybe. But it isn't. There is another one. Is it dirt or is it etched? This one is... Where is it actually? Oh there. But uh, they do both the both the coils do measure two and a half ohms, so uh, apparently not severe. I think um, this is the scuffed version, so I scuffed it before I um, there it is. I scuffed it before I um, used the pen. Uh, but then it rolls up, and it's quite easy to. Uh, destroy the solder or the solder mask <laughs> the edge resist so maybe go slow don't scuff it so it doesn't roll up so I don't uh, fuck up the edge resist while handling the foil just clean it very thoroughly with uh, acetone or thinner or whatever but this is already a really decent decent looking membrane for a uh, AMT, which I'm gonna throw away, but <laughs> proof of concept. So, Sharpie it is.